All right, guys, I'm going to do a little short vid here for Styrene Junkie 73. Uh, he was asking about the airbrushes uh, as of water by airbrushes, what percentage of airbrush. Not to my airbrush, probably 99% of everything. I do very little brush painting unless it's a door handle or something like that. But I mean, I brush or airbrush everything. And he asked how many bottles I had to switch paints I don't use bottles for the airbrush my airbrush is different this is my airbrush it's the okay, here we can see a Badger 200G it just has a small little little cup just a small small cup and I only use you know you've seen before I use these little dropper bottles and I only use you know I'll put like maybe two drops in there like comes out of an eyedropper and I can spray you know two drops will get me more than this whole seat so if, you know then when I go to clean it I just put a little bit of uh, rubbing alcohol Take a little rag, uh, back flush it, dump it out, put just a little bit more rubbing alcohol, spray through it. You know, 25, 30 seconds, I can switch colors. You know, that's as fast as, you know, unhooking a bottle and putting another bottle on. And it makes it real nice, too. You know, if I need to mix colors, I can just put a couple drops and a couple drops, back flush it, they're mixed. You know, spray from there. So that's the way I do it. I don't use, as you can see, I don't have separate bottles. I've just got all, all my paints. I just put them right in there and go. If I fill it up, you know, I can paint an entire car body, no problem. Clean it out, go on. So it's pretty nice. Sorry, guys. When I start talking, my brain thinks my body's running out of oxygen, so I have to yawn. So that's what I've been up to, or that's what that is, and I'll show you what I've been up to. I'm still trying to find, I haven't come up with a good finish that I really like. I do use uh, Future, this is all Future to I me, mean, yeah, it looks good. I, uh, see, I'll, I tried... I had the aerosol cans of, uh, like, clear. You get a Walmart. I decanted that, mixed it with the mineral spirits it called for. Done the test spoons. Came out horrible. Really looked bad. <clears throat> it did, just reacted terrible. So then I went and got these. I've got 20 bucks for just experiments here, but we and got these, mixed them up, and this one reacted, the just the regular Model Master reacted with my Tamiya paints. So, I've got the Model Master Lacquer Finish, which is semi-gloss, can't even read it. And it done it done really well. That's this one here. You can see I put this bottle in, and this is one ounce. These are two ounce. I put a whole ounce of lacquer thinner. This one done real well. And uh, then I picked up Model Master acrylic gloss clear. And that was probably the worst one of all to go over my Tamiya. For me, that didn't work. Didn't work at all. So here is um, just a spoon, and I did notice I have to watch these. If you take them right out of the bag or box where they come in, they've got some on them. So I had to wash them. Oh. Sorry, guys. This is my. Gloss red with the semi-gloss uh, Model Master over it, 
it's okay. It's not, I mean, it's a good hard, very hard finish. A lot harder than Future. I uh, wet sanded this through 12,000 grit. Not too, not too bad. Not happy with it, but not too bad. Then this one is flat red. Tamiya. With semi-gloss over it. And it laid down. I mean, it's beautiful. If you can actually see it, I mean, it's really, really pretty. So I kind of like that one. So now I really want to try, maybe next month I'll have to get the ultra high gloss and the lacquer finish and try that. See if that works for me. I'm just going to go take a nap. I'm in grief. Sorry, guys. If I'm making everybody out there yawn. So that's uh, my experiments with that. Just trying to pass it on in case anybody, you know, save somebody some money. So there's that. Um, the car has changed since last time you've seen it. It's gotten a lot, a lot dirtier, a lot grimier. It's got, I don't know, 10 coats of paint. I've got rust paint. I've got dust. I've got washes i've got you know all kind of stuff on this and of course it has future on it so it's got a little sheen to it but you know at least it's protected so it won't rub off that way then i've done a dr cranky here my windshield is going to go in it's all dusty i i done the the tape method like he does which matches up perfect to the um, windshield wipers then put a little bit more dust on get in there over the clean area you know like they cleaned it and then come on hands cooperate there we go you can see it lines up perfect with the wipers. Then I've got. Let's see if it'll show up. I can put behind this thing. Get to show up. I oh, yeah, yeah. got to be something I make show up. A cracked windshield. All spider cracked and just ain't gonna. Try something black. I can kind of see it. Gotta be something. There, that's better. You can see it kind of spider webbed and going across the window. And so it's all cracked and broke up. There you can see my little stand I use. I got this little block of wood. I mounted a little tripod to it. Got my camera sitting on that. So you can see it. But that's my windshield, so that'll look pretty good. I'll take pictures of all this stuff at some point, but I'm going to shut up for now. Well, before I do, there's my tire, and he needs a severe alignment. It's all chewed up and been bouncing on the road and in the curves. But uh, anyway, in case. Uh, Trying to stifle a yawn. You guys have seen the background here, my little wooden thing here. The motor is not going to be mounted in the car. I should be revealing this until it's done, but I picked up Hobby Lobby. I got these for 50% uh, off, so I got. I got it for a dollar, dollar twenty-five. It's a small chain, so I'm gonna have the chain hanging from this hoist, like we're putting the motor into the car. They don't have radiator, you know, like the radiators and stuff leaning up somewhere, and maybe maybe a fan shroud and stuff like that. Just have it sitting around, and then. Uh, Gotta make a little base for it and like a little gravel driveway or something. But I still gotta put some 
little legs on this thing to hold it up. But that should look pretty good. Okay, now everybody that watches me is going to be able to take a nap. So that should, uh, should try out pretty good. And then the, um, where I cut out the floorboard, I'm going to go ahead and leave that cut out, but I'm going to take like some silver or something and put it around the edges like it had been cut out, like somebody had just cut it out, trying to fit that big motor. But then when you get that, you know, that motor hanging from, hanging from this, like it's going into the car, should, should look okay, get it about that angle. You know, where the transmission's pointed down, they just got to lower it down, put it in. Should look okay. We're going to try it, see how it works. My last little diorama kind of flopped on me, so we'll try this one, but... Good grief, we're up to 11 minutes. I must be bored, I'm talking to everybody. Um, so, alright. Bye.